Hello, and welcome back to Minty English. Well, everybody has been asking me to do a segment on phrasal verbs. So today, our discussion or my examples are on phrasal verbs. Some of you ask, what are phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are verbs plus adverbs or verbs plus prepositions, okay? And basically, you just put these two, you just put these two things together to create another meaning, okay? So, we're gonna start with, look down on. When you look down on something, it means you think of it as being, as you being more superior or better than something or someone, okay? Um, if we say, do away with. Do away with just means put something away, put it away, okay? Do away with it, get rid of it, okay? We don't need it, or you don't need it, okay? We also have came or come up with, okay? That just means basically you need to think of something, you came up with an idea, um, let's say you need to come up with a solution, right? It's just about being creative, coming up with a solution to a problem, right? And how about looking forward to something? This, this is more about the future, when you're referring to the future. If I invite you to a party, or I invite you to dinner or lunch, if you, you anticipate that you're going to have a nice time, you say, I'm looking forward to it. Okay? Um, get away with. In America, well, it's not get with, it's get away with. In America, we use this to refer to someone who never gets in trouble for doing anything. They do stuff, but they never get in trouble for it. So they get away with everything. Um, the expression we use is, he gets away with murder. Yeah? Okay. How about put up with. This means to tolerate something or tolerate someone. If their actions or their behavior is <laughs> irritating to you, you need to tolerate it, put up with it, okay? Um, what about look back? Now, look back can have a couple of different meanings. Look back means to turn and look to see what's behind you. Or it could be that you want to look back over your life. You want to remember things, all right? Um, look back at your notes and see if you remember what we talked about, all right? Um, come around. Hmm. Now, this one, if I say I haven't seen a friend of mine for a very long time, I could say Sarah doesn't come around anymore. That means she doesn't visit me anymore. I don't see her anymore. Um, maybe... I ask you to do something, or someone asks you to do something, 
and we might say, give him time, he'll come around. He'll, he'll agree, just give him time to think about it. Okay? Um, get on. Get on. Literally, it means to get on something. Get on your motorcycle. Get on your phone. Get on the laptop. Okay? But get on here. <clears throat> and I will say this. The British use it probably a little bit more than we do. But when they say, I don't get on with him, it means you, do, you don't agree with him. You're not comfortable with him. Okay? You're not very friendly with him. All right? So, let's take a look here. We have some more. Um, how about... Mm, put off. If I say... Don't put off doing your homework. Yes? What am I telling you? I'm telling you not to delay it. D don't postpone it. And just for a little extra information here, when someone who does this a lot, they put things off a lot, just so you know, we call these people procrastinators. These are people who always put things off. They always say, I'll do it tomorrow. I will get it later. If your mom asks you to take the trash out. Yeah? How about take off? Take off could mean remove your coat, take off your coat, or it could mean to leave. I'm getting ready to take off. I have to be home in a little while. All right? Turn up. All right? Turn up means to arrive. If you turn up late for a party, right, you, al uh, you arrive late. Or if the music's too low, you tell someone to turn it up. So it means it could get something that could get louder. <clears throat> right. Read uh, uh read over or talk over. Read over just means to proofread something. Make sure there are no mistakes. Okay? Talk over <clears throat> means to have a discussion or discuss something with someone. We need to talk over your punishment. Yes. Or it means you talk louder than someone else. If someone's talking and you want to be heard, you talk over them. So you talk louder than someone else. Yes. Okay. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs>